Hi, um, look, this is just a quick uh, video on how to set up uh, Yacht Devices um, engine adapter to display um, <coughs> uh, Yanmar uh, for JH um, engine information into a Raymarine Axiom multifunctional display. So, as you can see, I'm not on my boat at the moment, but I have been out there all afternoon just uh, installing this. So, I'll just do a, a few videos in a minute showing that. But I, I guess, first of all, you know, why, why do I want that? Um, for those of you that know uh, these engines, they come with a fairly basic display that you have to scroll through to see information. Um, and it's only at the helm. We've got on a Leopard 48, it's just it's on the helm and it's not down in the salon uh, where often th that's where you're controlling the boat from if you're on a reasonably long trip uh, you might be sitting down there um, and you know you want to see stuff down there in in in, in the salon but also you, you want to get context you want to get situational awareness between two engines you've got two engines uh, i just had to, we just did a couple of weeks up in the um, beautiful bay of islands up in northern new zealand and um you know, we had an engine that was running um, at 1500 revs, was running too cold uh, or, or below sort of optimal operating temperature, and then at 2000 revs was overheating. And so we had to switch between engines when, when that was happening uh, because we just had no wind coming back and we had about a 10 or 12 hour cruise. Um, you know, motor sail coming back at sort of um, six, seven knots. So, uh, so, so there's a whole bunch of reasons, uh, especially particularly if I've got uh, teenagers that are running. Uh, you know, I'm, I've put in control and watch, and I want them to be able to um, uh, just keep an eye out. I want to make it as easy as possible, and having to scroll through uh, something and not be able to see it really visually is is um, isn't great. So, look, I'll just um, so that's part of the reason that that we I wanted to do this. Uh, we had a look at the Yanmar adapters. It was sort of, one, it was hard to get them, and two, they were really um, crazy expensive. So uh, went to Yacht Devices, and look, it's, it seems pretty reasonable. Um, I'll cover off all the costs of it at the end of the video, but I'll just jump over now to sort of uh, the installation and all the parts that you need. Thanks. Hi, okay, so I'm just gonna take you through the bits that I've got here to get engine data into my Raymarine um, MDF uh, Axiom, <coughs> Axiom 12. So I've gone to Yacht Devices and they sell an adapter kit for Yanmar engine, engines. I've got a Yanmar J457. Okay, and then, so basically what happens is you, you give them your um, engine serial number. They then validate that that's good for the adapter kit. Um, and then they also program port and starboard engines. These little devices have got a programmable chip in there. Uh, I'm not sure what, I think you could do it yourself, but anyway, they do it for you if you ask them. Um, and then you get a few bits of the kit that you need. They supply some and you just got to go to a local Raymarine supply to get the rest. So what they give you is this here, which is the Yanmar to the Yacht Devices um, sender adapter. So this plugs into your... Um, uh, diagnostic port on the Yamaha uh, engines, and I'll show you this live in, in a bit. Um, comes with an end plug for, for uh, the plug that you remove. Um, then you've got their actual their, their sender kit, so this works on lots of different engines, so hence you need the Yamaha adapter. So you then connect this to that. You then have a uh, um, yeah, a, a, a NMEA to C Talk adapter. So this then plugs into that, that's NMEA. Uh, goes to the C Talk, that plugs into a C Talk um, T. This then goes to uh, your blue um, C Talk cable, and then this goes and plugs into a hub. And if I just come over here and show you, let me just grab the torch. I've got that going into that hub up there so you can see at the moment actually I've only got one engine connected but the the blue um, just there that little um, terminal uh, endpoint is where I'm going to plug uh, the port engine into uh, and then I'll take that um, uh, that that terminator and, and stick it on the T that's over here so um, look that's all the kit that you need uh, they supply you with this stuff 
basically for each engine and then you get this stuff from your local Raymarine and I'll just put up the length of cables that I've used and, and, and how I've done it so I'm just going to install this and then um, you'll see it all in action. So you put the yacht devices uh, connector into this port here which is then got uh, there's two uh, connectors coming out of the engine adapter so I've just got this one here which fits into the actual uh, yacht devices sender unit there so again just connect this I've then got the other uh, connector that comes out of the engine adapter and I'm plugging that into the original diagnosis um, uh, connector so this is so you can still use that port on the um, on the ad adapter and then last uh, second last part of the setup you've got a blanking plug and you're just putting it into the other connector that's coming off the yacht devices uh, sender unit uh, so now I need to get the sender unit uh, going from an NMEA uh, connector to a C-Torque one so it can go into the Raymarine Axiom. So I need this adapter cable here, here which I'm just going to um, connect. Uh, and then I need to uh, put a T on, a, um, a C-Torque T, so basically white to white. And then I'm going to have the blue cable, uh, one of the blue cable that I'm going to run through the boat up to the... Um, MDF and the other end of this uh, T I'm going to put a terminator on Okay, so now for uh, um, the test. So I haven't done anything else. I've connected everything up um, As I've shown you Haven't really I uh, haven't adjusted anything else other than what they've given me um, in the in the odd Raymarine bit that I've bought so Look at that there we go. We've got some revs. We've got some oil pressure on starboard and we've got some revs, oil pressure, and uh, temperature on the port engine. So now my axiom, I can go into chart dashboard, which is the view that I'm really after. I can see the engine. I've only just got the um, starboard engine running at the moment, but I can see my charts and I can see the engine and I can go to my settings. I can go to page settings, I can go to edit data overlays um, and I can go in here and I can go add data, engine, starboard engine, so if I want to know what my, I've got all these options now, if I want to know what the fuel flow is, um, there we go, then if I rev this up, I'll see that start to come up, so no more scrolling through the little, uh, little dashboard and a whole heap of other options obviously right okay so just for one last look at how this is all put together so i've got the yanmar um, engine adapter for the yacht devices uh, going into the diagnostic port got it coming out of the diagnostic port and going down and into the yacht devices sender unit it's going into a nmea to c talk Converter, I'm going into a C-Talk T. Now you need one of these for each engine. So you can't just, so it does have to have one for each engine. It's coming into here. Uh, that's going out into a um, blue C-Talk uh, cable that I've routed through up to the helm. It's got a terminator there. Now I used a 20 meter cable. So I've got a fair bit left over and, and that was just simply because that was all they had uh, in the um, shop when I got this. Uh, Okay, and as I said, the blue, you can see the blue C-Talk cable there from that starboard engine is getting routed up. I've got this um, C-Talk bus there, uh, and we've got both engine feeds coming in there. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not a lot else you need to do. So, hopefully that gives you all a good idea about how I've put all this together. In terms of cost and kit that you'll need, I think you can do it all for about... 500, uh, 700 USD, that's uh, it's 500 for the yacht devices equipment, so 250 USD per engine for the uh, Yammer adapters and the yacht devices sender. And then it's just about what C-Talk and uh, the C-Talk to device net adapters, they're around about 50 USD, so $100 for that, so that brings it up to about 600 USD, and then whatever backbone 
connectors and T's you might need and I think I used on Leopard 48 I've used about 10 meters to go from the starboard engine up to the helm and I think it's about 15 meters to go from the port engine if you're smart you might be able to connect them closer together and have shorter cables uh, I'd probably do it slightly differently if I did it again but uh, it's all working so uh, look really happy and I've now got that onto uh, nine axiom nine down in the um, salon and in the 12 up at the helm so uh, yeah hopefully if you're looking to do this you, you find it useful thanks